you to me, the Wolfpack. How you going? So today I'm working on my new stones. I'm going to blast them and stuff and have different representations for the stones. Because as everybody knows, I'm going to New York and, and to see my huggy boo. So, and then we're going to go on some investigations and stuff. So everybody's been asking me about my prayer stones and prayer circles and stuff like that. Um, so today's uh, show is how I do my prayer circle stones, okay? Um, feel free to adapt them and use them any way that you see fit if you want to. If you don't want to, then don't bother. <laughs> it's all up to you anyway, because uh, it's not up to me. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each stone and what it represents, why it's that stone, okay, and all that stuff. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to do an actual prayer, because once... Uh, once you choose what stones are for which person or thing, uh, and you bless them, then you got to do at least one time your prayers before you actually take it out into the field, okay? So these, this circle, if you go into a location, uh, especially if you haven't been there before, um, this is something that you can do uh, to give you uh, extra protection while going into a new location. And if it's a location that you know is uh, full of crap, <laughs> it's probably better to do it uh, beforehand than afterhand. So there you go. Okay, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, so first thing you want to do is get yourself a spot to work in. Uh, as you can see here, I'll use this incense as a pointer. I got my two wolf uh, medallions uh, from Christina to bless my thing. I got my Santo wood necklace. And I got my shaman stone uh, just to give energies to the circles that I'm going to be working on today. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is pick which stones you want to use uh, that are going to be used for your circle. All right. We'll get more into that as we go on. And then you want to make sure to cleanse. Now I'm using uh, frankincense for this. Uh, but you can use any any of the scents that uh, that you like, you know. You can use sandalwood, or you can use sage, or you can use jasmine, uh, lavender, any of those sweeter scents um, for the good spirits, because they like that. So anyway. Say ya, say ya, say ya, say ya, say ya, say ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirits ask that you cleanse this area so that I may do my work. See ya, see ya, see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you just basically want to cleanse um, your stones. So, for instance, here's one of the stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please remove any energy and all energy from the stone other than its natural energy. Uh, to how we give it a name and have a purpose. See ya, see ya, see ya. Please remove all energy from this stone except for its natural energy. Till we name it and give it a purpose. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Please clean all energies. From the stone, except for its natural energy, until we name it and give it a purpose. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Please clean this stone. Remove all energies except for its natural energy, until we name and purpose it. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Please clean this stone of all energies except for its natural energies until we name and have a use for it. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Please cleanse this stone of all energies until we have a name and use for it. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. 
see you, see you, see you. And lastly, please clean this stone so that we get all energies off of it except for its natural energies. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya. Oh. All right, so we've cleaned the stones. They're all ready to be named and used. And we'll be back to do that in a minute. Okay, so far so good. So what we've done is we've picked the stones we're going to be using. All right. Uh, we put them with things that are blessed to us or things that are important to us. We've cleaned the area and then we've cleansed all the stones. Okay. So right now we've got the stones cleansed with no name and no energy on them. Okay. So it's all just natural, their own natural energy that's there uh, along with your own energy because of the stuff you put it inside and what's inside the, the circle with it okay so i got my santa wood necklace uh, there and i've got my wolves uh that christina got me and i got my shaman stone or shaman stone depends on um where you're from <laughs> uh, uh my nature stones right so now everything's there it's all been blessed and cleansed okay so what's the next step? Well, we're going to get to that uh, real soon. But the next step, I'll just give you a quick thing, is we're going to name what the stones are for. Okay. Uh, ask for the blessings for the stones. Name what the stones are for and everything else. So each stone has a purpose and a name. Okay. Uh, so basically, they're assigned to a certain thing. Like one stone will be assigned to grandfather. One stone will be assigned to myself and so forth. Right, so they're going to get named Grandfather Stone, My Stone, uh, My Totem Stone, different totems, and uh, also Astro Shikara, okay? Um, because these are my stones I use for investigations and doing uh, work in uh, houses and stuff where, where I need to go and it could get uh, risque, all right? Um, the spirits would help me all the time are my totems, my grandfather, and Astro and Shikara. So, my Astro and Shikara are protectors, right? Grandfather is my elder, and then I got my totems, okay? Now, you may have totems, so you can have totem stones, but you may also have two guides or protectors or guardians that travel with you. You even some sometimes just one. You may add their stones into your circle, you see? In my case, I'm adding astro and shikara obviously right um, but you could add anyone that you want any two to that protect you that you know are there to protect you um, they can be added in on top of uh, your ancestor and your totems you can add up to two more protectors into your circle okay so that's just a little bit of extra information for you uh, and I'll be back Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've uh, lit my two candles, my yellow and my red candle, because they're my colors. Because I want to add my energy uh, to the mix, as well as the energy that's already there. Okay, so now that you've picked your stones, you got to bless your stones and name them, all right? So the first stone is Grandfather's. And it goes a little bit like this. There's Grandfather's stone, shape of a heart, as you can see. Grandfather, I have asked you and you have accepted. Thank you for allowing this stone to represent you when I need you to go with me on my journeys. See ya, see ya. The next stone is my stone. All right, but I've chosen the old family stone, which is not anymore. I make this my stone so that I may put myself on the field with my totems, my ancestors, and my protectors. All right, now I put my protectors on. Astro, thank you for letting this stone represent you when I make my map of the field for the projects at hand. Shikara, thank you for choosing this stone so that I may put you on the map for the projects at hand. For my white wolf, Elba, 
Thank you for always being there to guide me and protect the site. For my heart, for my Firehawk, Fergus Hawk, Sora, thank you for being there to keep a watchful eye over everything. And for the mountain lion, Mabala, thank you for making sure that all flanks are protected. See you, see you. So now I've blessed all my stones, and they all have names, and they all have a purpose. All right. So the only thing left now is the first prayer. Okay, so basically what, what these stones are for is when I go to a location that might be sketchy or I go on just any normal investigation, I can either do the prayers before I leave the home or I can take my stones with me and do the prayer outside of the uh, place and just have everything placed um, just for added protection for myself and the people who are with me to make sure that nothing attaches to you or, or you don't get atta attacked or things like that. And if you do get attacked, well, then you have your own um, army. Not really the word I'm looking for, but you have your own um, basic clan to come in and help you. So that's what that's for. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so there we go. We got it all set. All the stuff is done. Uh, all the stones are blessed. Everything's done proper. So now all we have to do is to do the prayers when we get to the locations and everything else. However, uh, for this cinema, I'm going to actually do um, one of the prayers because later on tonight I'm planning on going out uh, or tomorrow uh, to the cemetery to, to do another how I do things. So, uh, and for you guys, I want you to see how I do the prayers. You guys can do your own stuff. I'm just going to show you uh, how everything is used, how it all gets put together. Um, just a little example of, of uh, what you can do uh, with it and what it's for, you know, and show you what the prayers are all about. Uh, so that's coming up in, oh, well, probably for you, it'll only be like a split second. Uh, but for me, it's going to be like five or six minutes because uh, I got to have some coffee and stuff. Yeah. So for me, it's, it's going to be a lot longer uh, than it will be for you. For you, it'll only be like a second. Uh, but for me, no, no, it, no, it's not going to be. It's not going to be a second because, uh, like I said, I wanted some coffee and that uh, stuff. So, yeah. So after that, then I'll, I'll come back and I'll record it. But you won't even know I was gone. So it's going to be great. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Grandfather. I am far from our sacred land and from the woods and the stones of our ancestors. I need some guidance and wisdom for the task I must face is at hand. Guide my steps on this path so I will not get lost and find my way back. I make a salt circle to represent where we must travel and the insides of that area for protection and peace from the outer grove. Grandfather, I place your stone in the center for balance. As I place my stone in the north for the actions that I must take. I add my animal spirits that travel with me, my white wolf, Elba, to guard the east and the path of the east to make sure I am protected from that site. My Fergus hawk, Sora, who sits in the west and flies over and watches over everything and everyone. And I add my mountain lion, Mabala, to protect everyone who happens to be with me. I also ask Astro to travel with me and Shakara as we always work as a trinity to try to get things done. I ask for your blessing and your strength until the work is done. See ya, see ya. Amen. 
Okay, guys, so that's the whole thing. That's how everything goes, how it all works, and how it all fits together. Uh, of course, uh, the, you know, your prayers are going to change every little bit here and there and everything else, depending on the situation, where you are, what you're doing. Uh, don't forget, you ask Grandfather for wisdom, for protection. But basically, Grandfather, what he does is he brings uh, rationality to chaos. That's basically his job. So there you go. Okay, anyway, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for being here and viewing. Uh, don't forget, take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Watch over, ghosts. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.